Assalamu alaikum guys welcome back to my second YouTube channel hello Saad second there are three economic systems in the world that is capitalism communism and the Islamic economic system you know in a capitalist society we know that for example there is capitalism in Pakistan America Canada in what happened in capitalist society that are rich become richer day by day and a poor become poor day by day because if someone doesn't have that capability to work hard if he hasn't that much good talent he will be like go to the bottom those who are the masterminds like for example we have Elon Musk we have Bill Gates they are working hard and they have some billions of dollars even these are the negative things that there is a gap between the richest and the poor right and Secondly, we have the communist society like for example China, Russia, they, have, they are the, they, are, they follow the communism. So in communism, we know that everything owned by the state, right? In, in a capitalist society, everything is owned by the people. They, everything is their personal right. State will not interfere somehow in their rights, in their lands, in, in most of the things, right? All right. So the second thing is about the communism, you know, that for example in China if you want to buy property and if you want to work, you will have to work for the government and the, and the government will pay you wages and the government will pay you, I mean like they will provide you jobs, everything. But we do have, for, you know, negative aspects of communism either because, you know, in communism we have, for example, like there is no complete ownership everything will be belonging to the state there will be like people will be suppressed right and the most importantly like there will be no freedom of speech that much as compared to in a capitalist society capitalist society capitalism was formed back in 18th century and even in the next century communism born and there are so many controversies so many debates among you know the supporters of both the communist and the capitalist parties right so yeah it happens and we have the best system the islamic system you know in islam is i think the complete code of conduct it has the best banking system right there are no drawbacks and in islam we have a good family system there is no interest so i think that dominate all of the list and the communist society world where Islam has been followed even in today's society when we see it to the to the countries who followed Islam right so they follow Islamic uh, Islamic rules and injunctions so you know in the past when Muslim used to follow uh, Islam in a good sense they were like dominating the rest of the world there were some great scholars like Ibn Sina Al Khwarizmi, the founder of Algebra, and like Muslims, scientists contributed a lot to the uh, world in the past. But with the passage of time, as when Islamic people leave uh, Islam, their downfall has been started. 